How do I jump across? I'll just fall and kill myself. Flashback, a game from 1993. Um, yeah, it's a really good one. Apparently, it got really high scores, as we'll see in a minute. Uh, but let's get into it. So, straight away, we're a bit confused what's going on. I think we need to dramatically read the back of a box so we get the whole atmosphere. And it's very small writing, so I'm going to have to, like, superimpose it on my face. 2142 AD. Stranded on a bizarre alien planet with your memory artificially erased, you must battle your way back to Earth to stop the invading muting forces. Flashback. The ultimate test in survival. So, Me Machine Sega in April 93 actually gave it 93% and said Flashback is a groundbreaking mega game, boasting stunning graphics, decent sound, and a massive quest to undertake. It's the best arcade adventure since Echo the Dolphin. Now, until they brought the Echo the Dolphin thing into it, we could have gone, that sounds great, sounds great, but um, no. So I never had Flashback when it first came out, and that's why I'm really interested in playing it. I think I had a go at a HD one remake that they did a few years back. Well, a few years back, probably retro again on Xbox 360. Run and up. Oh, God, that went wrong. Oh, that went so wrong. Can I hit him? I've got a gun. See, I didn't need to worry then. I had a gun. Okay, let's put it away. Can I search him? Oh gosh, this again. I need to get rid of that. How do I how did I do it? Holocube. Shield. Let's have shield then. Okay, so I shot someone. Can I can I press down? Without just falling? To my death, okay, he's there. Who's over here? Oh, there's a stone. Okay, that could come in handy, couldn't it? Maybe if I throw the stone from here, he's going to get it and I can drop behind him and shoot him. I'm going to throw the stone. Okay, that, that worked one way, didn't it? Well, I got him as good as he got me. Put your gun away. Pick up a cartridge. Are we playing Sonic Hedgehog? Dun dun! Sonic Hedgehog! Yay! That was good. I really like that. Dun dun! So, basically, why this game looks so brilliant and so lovely, and it sort of looks like another world, um, is that all the backgrounds were hand drawn for starters. And they use this technique, I'm going to have to look what's called rotoscoped. Okay, and it's basically what animators use to trace over um, film. So they would have filmed the action, the sequence of a guy moving, walking nicely with a gun and everything, and then they've traced over it to get the design and obviously compressed it down to make uh, the computer bits, uh, the animation, the pixels. So that's why it looks quite um, sort of realistic, a bit like Another World. And at the time, obviously, everyone's blown away with Another World, which is sort of dated a bit more, but this, this was a lot better. Right, how am I... I'll continue. Right. I mean, can I lower myself down? I'm just interested. That's my gun. I've, I've just got to run and jump it, haven't I? Let's try. Okay, well, I did that. That, that did it all right, didn't it? Should be really getting used to running. Cartridge lock. I need a fully charged magnetic cartridge. Okay, well, I have one of them, don't I? Cartridge. Oh, it's not fully charged, though. Okay, he's up there. Where's this taking me? Is it going to kill me? I think that might have killed me. So the question is... Okay, I can go up here, can't I? Or getting the green vapor stuff, I can do that. Okay, I'm just gonna go past it because if I jump up there, he's surely gonna shoot me. 
go a bit of shooting this way. Okay, now what are those green things flashing on the floor? Hmm. That implies to me there's bad stuff there. If you haven't already noticed, uh, this film obviously they used a rotoscope to do the sort of film style, isn't it, by tracing the, uh, the actual movements to get the animation. Um, but obviously the story and everything was heavily influenced on films of the time. So you had the Terminator sort of coming out and Terminator 2 just come out. Well, it was sort of being made in 92, wasn't it? Um, Back to the Future sort of 2, all sort of futuristic things. But the main one as well um, that they're influenced about was Total Recall. Classic Schwarzenegger film, you know, loses his memory, doesn't know what's going on. Exactly the same sort of plot here. You know, has to go and find out. Um, he gets a package as well, doesn't he? He gets a package like that one in, in Total Recall, finds out what's going on with him. All really good. So heavily influenced by the sort of films of the time, about the futuristic films going on as well, the sci-fi. And that's, again, why it's got that film sort of feel and everybody likes it, the story, plot and everything. So, yeah, pretty good stuff now. Okay, so that vaporizes me here. I, I I didn't walk into that. I thought there was I thought there was space. Do I just jump it? What do we think? That's clearly going to kill me, isn't it? This game's brutal. It's good. I'm still not annoyed with it yet. Give me another two deaths, and I'm like, oh, this game's going in the bin. Um, but you know. Ooh, hello. Save, hit the save. Energy generator, right, well, here we go. Where's our cartridge? Sweet, that's what we needed. Oh, that's good. Got there in the end. Only like 15 minutes of deaths. Right. I think we need to be sly here and do some rolling. Shooting. Oh, so good. I can't even go that way. You were having a giraffe. I can go that way, but I end up killing myself. To avoid that, okay. Up here. See, this is where you'd actually want to save in this game, but that's why it takes so long, wouldn't it? It's just like another world was. If you died, you died. You went back to a certain point. Mind you, it did save at certain points when you were getting it right. Another world. Ooh. Cartridge. Okay. That doesn't look the securest bridge, but we'll give it a go. Oh dear. So there's some electric here. Get the gun out. Oh dear. A save. Didn't know it had a save slot. Cool. We found a save slot. Yay. So there you go. I hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you like everything 90s gaming, reviews, gameplay footage and other interesting articles, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I upload videos weekly.